So here we go with a little bit of algebra in question 12. Well, we've got to solve this. So even if you don't know how to solve it, you can see there's a bracket. So let's have a go expanding that bracket. So we get 4 times x is 4x. And 4 times 5 is 20. And we're saying that's equal to 28. So what we need to do is we now need to solve this. So we need to must take away 20 from both sides of our equation. It's the opposite or inverse of plus 20 is minus 20. And we get 4x is equal to 8. And then we've got to divide both sides by 4, which we should be able to do now. 4 times 2 is 8, so x must be 2. Three marks for that. Last bit, factorise. Now this thing factorise means put in brackets. It's the opposite of expand or simplify, so we'll put it into brackets. Well, what thing, number or letter or both, goes into both of these things? It's got to be a y. Now it's got to be a plus in it. y times what gives me 8y. The second bit must be an 8. And y times what gives me y squared. Well, y times y gives me y squared. So I've factorised it. I've put it into brackets.